I am super excited to share with you the small business quick start guide that is a supplement to the NIST cybersecurity framework 2.0. As you know, the NIST cybersecurity framework 2.0 was published yesterday, February 26. So this was the first time the cybersecurity framework has been updated in over a decade. And over the past 10 years, the NIST cybersecurity framework has been widely adopted by organizations of all sizes all around the world, outside of the federal agencies and state agencies that use it. There's no shortage of private sector companies that uses the cybersecurity framework because it does a really good job of simplifying cybersecurity. Aspire Cyber, we're on a mission to make cybersecurity compliance easy. And the NIST cybersecurity framework certainly is one of our core resources that we leverage to make cybersecurity compliance easy. Make sure that you check out the overview video that I did for the NIST Cybersecurity Framework 2.0. This small business quick start guide is so incredible. I decided to do a separate video for it. So let's deep dive into it and see how this small business guide can help organizations of any size, any amount of resources quickly get started with implementing the cybersecurity framework and helping to manage your cybersecurity risk. First, we just have an overview of what's the purpose of this quick start guide. It's important to understand that this quick start guide is not intended to replace the NIST cybersecurity framework, but just to be a, a supplement, something that can help you quickly get started. As we work with small businesses, we know that's one thing that they really struggle with getting started. There's no shortage of information and guidance available to them, but it can quickly become overwhelming, and especially for small business owners where cybersecurity may not be their area of expertise. Trying to fumble through all of the complex cybersecurity guidance and jargon can really be overwhelming, but the NIST cybersecurity framework does a fantastic job of establishing a taxonomy of cybersecurity best practices that can be clearly understood and implemented by anyone, regardless of your, your background. So if you watch my first video, you know that there are six functions for the NIST cybersecurity framework. The previous version 1.1 had five functions, but for this new function, NIST has added govern. So that's gonna be the governance, the policies, procedures, administrative controls, strategies, and continuous improvement of the program is gonna fall under the governance, which impacts all of the other functions of identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. I'm happy to see that this includes implementation examples, giving examples of how um, small business can implement the outcomes outlined in the NIST cybersecurity framework. We're not gonna cover those in this video. We'll probably do a separate video for that, but just know this is a link within the small business guide, within the small business quick start guide. The way this quick start guide is format it. It has one essentially page dedicated to each of the six core functions, pretty much identifying those critical areas recommended to focus on to quickly get your organization started with the cybersecurity framework. So starting out with governance, it's highlighting that the govern function is going to help you establish and monitor your business cybersecurity risk management strategy, expectations, and policy. There is just prioritize, which can be communicated, and there's some actual and the actual action items defining what is the business mission statement? What's the cybersecurity risk that's preventing the small business from achieving this mission? And it's also important to understand what are the legal, regulatory, and contractual cybersecurity requirements that should be documented. Also, down here we have a list of additional questions that the small business should consider and related resources. So throughout all of the this cybersecurity framework and supplemental resources points you to more resources. There's no shortage of resources that NIST provides, but it's consolidated and streamlined in this quick start guide, which is just a invaluable resource for small businesses. I hope you can tell that I am a big fan of the NIST cybersecurity framework and especially of all of the supplemental resources. I'm a huge fan. I love, absolutely love the small business quick start guide because I know so many of our clients can benefit greatly from leveraging this quick start guide. We are all about simplifying and making cybersecurity easy. And this is a great illustration of how that can be done. Next, we have the identify function, which helps you determine the current cybersecurity risks to the business. Part of identifying is you need to, as a small business, identify what are your assets software, hardware, physical assets, stakeholders, all your various assets needs to be identified 
And then also the data, think about your customer data, your intellectual property, all the various data that your organization has needs to be identified because you can't protect what you don't know exists. Part of that is being able to identify your critical assets. The other component of it is identifying the risk to your organization, whether it's a ransomware attack, data breach, or the list of all of the various cybersecurity attacks that your organization can face. You want to be able to clearly identify those. Because next, you're going to move into the protect function. And the protect function supports your ability to use safeguards to prevent or reduce cyber security risk. So once we have identified our assets, now we're going to prioritize implementing safeguards. Multi-factor authentication should be leveraged on all accounts wherever possible. And if you are using an application that doesn't leverage multi-factor authentication and doesn't give you that option, you may want to consider another application because passwords can easily be cracked and you really want to have that additional layer of security with multi-factor authentication. What you should consider as a small business and what areas you should prioritize. And that's key for a small business being able to prioritize your limited resources and knowing where exactly to focus and that's what this cybersecurity framework does so well and especially this quick start guide really pinpoints where really pinpoints where you as a small business should focus your limited resources next we're going to move into detect the tech function provides outcomes that help you find and analyze possible cybersecurity attacks and compromises. Actions that the small business should consider understand how to identify those common indicators of a cybersecurity incident. So many small businesses do not have visibility into their networks or their cloud services where even if they do experience a data breach, they won't be able to identify it. They won't even know until potentially maybe they receive that ransomware message or their systems are encrypted or they notify from one of their third parties that, that their data was stolen in the breach. So the detect function helps the organization put controls in place to help understand those common indicators of a cybersecurity incident, know what to look out for, that malicious activity and how to respond accordingly. And it points to other resources such as the incident handling guide, ransomware protection, just a wealth of resources that NIST provides to you. And in this nine page document that you can leverage to quickly get started on protecting against the cybersecurity threats and make no mistake, organizations of any size, especially small businesses are the target of cybersecurity threat actors that are trying to steal your data or your customer data. You really want to have some type of framework in place that helps you manage those cybersecurity risks and i can't think of any better framework than the cybersecurity framework and best of all it's free they say the best things in life are free and this is one of those things that they're talking about the NIST cybersecurity framework just when you thought that the NIST cybersecurity framework couldn't get any better the cybersecurity framework 2.0 has gotten even better i am impressed moving on to the next function respond the respond function supports your ability to take action regarding the detected cyber incident prioritize understanding okay once an incident does occur and when it comes to cybersecurity incidents it's not if it's when so just know that yeah the cybersecurity incidents are going to happen so your small business is a target and you're going to experience some type of cybersecurity incident but having the response function in place prioritizing these actions that are outlined in the quick start guide will put you in a much better position than if you do nothing so as we see in this chart we have the contact having contact information phone numbers for when your organization does experience a cyber security incident knowing the contact information for your cyber insurance legal state police fbi whoever you need to contact you want to have that information documented before the incident and then the sixth function of the nist cybersecurity framework is the recover function which involves activities to restore assets and operations that were impacted by a cybersecurity incident thinking about your business continuity disaster recovery plan and your incident response plan on exactly how to recover from that incident to minimize the impact. So you need to understand who within and outside your business has the recovery responsibilities. Think about the small business quick start guide as the basics, the fundamentals for all small businesses to have in place. And we go in a little more detail about the recovery playbook, formal recovery processes, list of personnel responsible. Again, the basics, that foundation. And it's unfortunate that so many small businesses do not have these basic controls in place. Then when they do experience a cybersecurity incident, it can easily put them out of business because at that point it's too late. As a small business, you want to use this quick start guide and ultimately mature your cybersecurity program, leveraging in this cybersecurity framework. If you're a small 
small business owner and you're looking to get started with just implementing some type of cybersecurity program, then yeah, these are some really good best practices and areas of focus and controls that you prioritize taken from the NIST cybersecurity framework that will substantially increase your cybersecurity posture if you don't have anything in place today. So I highly recommend you go to the, that you leverage this small business quick start guide. And if you need help, certainly reach out to Aspire Cyber. Our mission is to make cybersecurity compliance easy. So we're here to help, happy to help. Enjoy working with small businesses. Contact us today.